perhaps rehab was an option. But the longer they sit in this condition, um, the, the, the worse that condition gets them. The, the chances of rehab become worse. Um, so the next steps for these particular properties, um, first council will vote on whether to foreclose. If that vote is affirmative, then um, the auditor's office transfers responsibility to the treasurer for the conduct of the foreclosure sale. And as I mentioned earlier, the property owner can pay um, the amount owed up to the sale date, and after the sale date is conducted, the owner has one year of redemption. Um, and I just wanted to briefly uh, bring up what our next steps are for foreclosure on other properties. Um, the Auditor's Office, Development Services, and the Treasurer are meeting weekly to prioritize properties for foreclosure, to share information and ensure that we have good communication about the properties. Um, it takes a lot of work to bring these files to fruition and to bring these um, cases to council, and we want to make sure that we are um, current on the best information that BDF has and that BDF is current on the information that we have. Um, to troubleshoot the process and um, to monitor workload. And then um, our intent is to, to have this be the first of many uh, foreclosure lists that we will bring to council as files are completed and as a sufficient number of unresolved cases are available. It's been the case with this list. Um, there were many more properties that we had worked up, that Marco had worked up cases for. Um, and we've gotten fairly far along the process and there, something came up to either resolve the issues with that property, a new owner who was making efforts, um, or, or the property was going to foreclosure sales to the county or something else. So there are a number of reasons why a property can fall off of what we think is a good candidate for foreclosure and we want to try to minimize the amount of work that we put into such properties so that we can be the most efficient about bringing properties to you. Mr. Am I understanding correctly, all five of these have been to the Collections Committee? All five of these properties have been to the Collections Committee, that's true. And you don't have to go back to it, you had, you had a checklist up earlier, but um, on your on your slideshow, but I just want to make sure everybody understands that the properties that will get scrolled up for action by the Council on foreclosure are ones that are vacant, abandoned, have a long list of violations, and an unresponsive property on it, right? Right. So if somebody has a rundown house that they're living in, we're not talking about that. If they have a rundown house that they've bought and now trying to fix up and they're on some kind of reasonable schedule to get it fixed up, we're not talking about that. We're talking about houses where it's vacant, abandoned, has a whole bunch of violations, and you're not getting your phone calls or letters returned from wherever this owner might be. Okay. That's, that's the subset. We're only focusing on that subset of houses. Great. Anything else uh, you all want to add? Any other questions for staff? Great work. Thank you very much. And let's uh, see who's here to speak on this item. Anyone on the list is free to join us as well. We have five on the list. Okay. Will be screen please come up? Artist, Jesse Silver, and Mary Amy.